You're welcome to Believers Global TV. Don't forget to like this video. Let's go into the message. We're going to be speaking over the territory. Is someone ready to shift the climate? That every high thing, walls, covenants, yokes that have tied down the destinies of men territorially. The Bible says, blessed is he that cometh in the name of the Lord. In the name of Jesus, there, there is a shout that is coming from our spirits. And I tell you, every wall of Jericho, it, the Bible says, now Jericho was shut. Nothing came in and nothing came out. Is someone ready to pray in the spirit? Hold hands with a serious believer close to you and begin to pray in the spirit from the depth of your heart. We're interceding for Canada right now. Shalaga bereke paka paratos kaprande gebadas. Rakata pada kata palata bereke te pras kata palata. Shada pras kata bereke paratos koprende palatos. Shada skapalanta sabres kapalaka tapra kata bereke te bereke ta. Rakata paka tapranta kaparaka tos kata bereke te bereke ta. Go ahead and pray. Shalaga berenta skaprande gebeleke parakotas. Rakata bakata prende kete belekata, ebrakata paka proskoto prende beleke paruya sedesh, meka parakata prende te belekata. We decree and declare, let the spiritual climate over Canada shift for good, shift for good, shift for good. We tear down walls, we tear down walls, we tear down walls, we dislodge altars. Believers pray. Every spirit that is not of the Christ ruling over the atmosphere of Canada, we pull you down, we pull you down, covenants, we pull you down, yokes, we pull you down. Lift up your heads, O ye gates, and be ye lifted everlasting doors that the King of glory may come in, in the name of Jesus Christ. Spirits that are responsible for mental health conditions, spirits that are responsible for addictions, spirits that are responsible for moral breakdowns, spirits that are responsible for limitations, we come against you in the name of Jesus. Someone pray. Few more minutes, you are praying. Shana na bekata beleke parakata banda kapraskidas. Krakata balakata brekata belekata. In Jesus' name, we pray. You'll be seated shortly, but you are going to be interceding for your household. It says, as for me and my house. Say that after me. As for me and my house. Listen. The spirit of Egypt. Remember, when Moses was advocating the exodus of God's people, Pharaoh said, let's split your people. Some would go and some would remain. And Moses said, no way, that was not the command. Our wives will go, our husbands will go, our children will go. Sometimes the devil will allow the firstborn, you can go. But all the rest, you stay back. Or the husband, you can go. Someone is going to make intercession. As for me and my house, open your mouth and begin to pray. Pray for your spouse, pray for your children. As for me and my house, we will serve the Lord. Mothers, pray. Mothers pray, my son will not serve the devil. Mothers pray, the spirits of addiction will come against you. Fathers pray, the spirits tearing down families, the spirits tearing down ministries, the spirits tearing down businesses. Lift your voice and pray. Pray for your children. Mention their names. Mention their names. Mention their names. 
pray for your spouse that addiction is broken that manipulation is broken pray for pastors all over Canada the spirit of discouragement causing the work to fail causing the work of the kingdom to be limited we come against you in the name of Jesus we announce a new season over Canada we announce a new season a new season a new season we blow the trumpet in Zion we sound the alarm upon the holy mountain it's a new season over Canada go ahead and pray as for me and my house as for me and my ministry as for me and my business Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. I feel led in my spirit. We are still praying. We are going to pray for children from age 10 to 20. There is a plot by Satan to completely destroy that generation, age 10 to 20. That corporately, as a generation, it seems that there is a spirit moving. They are rejecting Jesus corporately. But someone shout, no way. A believer shout again, no way. Are you ready to pray? Pray for the children across Canada, ages 10 to 20. We redeem them from the snare of the fowler. In the name of Jesus Christ, go ahead and pray. Go ahead and pray. Every manipulation, the spirit of the age, destroying them, we come against that influence. In the name of Jesus, be it unhealthy use of social media, be it addictions of any and all sorts, we come against it. It's a sound of revival. Go ahead and pray. We pray for our children. They are escaped like the bird from the snare of the fowler. In the name of Jesus Christ. As for me and my family, we will serve the Lord. 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 Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let me give you one more prayer. Are you tired of praying? Look up. How many of you know that there is a spirit that incapacitates people economically? I have seen a manifestation of that spirit over your land. If you don't believe it, allow your neighbor pray. But we are going to be praying. There are many dimensions to the subject of abundance and there is an implication, you see. The world as we know and our civilization advances economically. Whoever possesses the means, the wherewithal, has the opportunity to live a decent life, to build a godly home and serve the purposes of the kingdom more effectively. And there is an attack, believe it or not, over the finances of God's people. I have seen this and, and, and in all fairness, it's not just for Canada. But since we are here now, there are families right now who are in debt, in trouble. Am I right on that? Perhaps there are preachers and churches in debt, working in integrity but in debt. Debt is a spirit. Yes, it is. The Bible talks about a woman, a wife of a prophet. He was a prophet, yet... The man died. Only God knows why he died. I suspect frustration. I suspect depression, even though a prophet. And the Bible says they came to take her two sons. They represent her future. They came to take the two sons. And the woman ran to the prophet. And he said, what do you have in your house? He said, nothing except a little cruise of oil. We are going to pray. We reject a little cruise. We reject a little cruise. A little cruise cannot do much. 
there has to be oil the bible says there is treasure to be desired and oil in the dwelling of the wise listen i can tell you by the privilege of god's grace that if you are incapacitated financially it doesn't matter how visionary you are your vision will always assume the size of the resources you have great visions but limited by resources do you think you will serve god better if you serve god in your own home rather than running helter skelter trying to meet bills always behind it's a distraction this is not about money this is not about prosperity it's about a trap to distract your focus he said let my people go that they may go and serve me and pharaoh said it's because you are giving them straw stop giving them straw the time they take to seek the lord they will use it to find straw when laban jacob told laban release me and let me go laban said i have seen he consulted by divination are we together we're going to pray i believe in the whole counsel of god the whole counsel of god you're going to challenge the spirits that sit upon the minds sit upon the works of your hands misleading you into wrong decisions financially and then incapacitating people victimizing people using whatever guys institutional victimization or otherwise lift your voice and shout this say father come on canada say father in the name of jesus we decree and declare by the power of the holy spirit that the spirits responsible for lack and want and poverty be destroyed now open your mouth and pray open your mouth and pray the kingdom life brings with it dignity the kingdom life brings with it dignity and honor dignity and honor dignity and honor go ahead go ahead canada pray lift up your heads the spirits of poverty transgenerational poverty the spirits of lack the spirits of want the spirits of servitude we come against you we come against you we come against you in the name of jesus we declare liberation economic liberation over the saints in canada Hallelujah. 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 The Bible says the rich and the poor dwell together. It says God is the maker of them all. What a statement. The rich and the poor. He would have just said inhabitants dwell together. And yet the Bible says the rich and the poor dwell together. God is the maker of them all. He never says God is the maker of them so. Then the Bible says the borrower. The borrower. The borrower. The borrower is slave to the lender the borrower is the name of a person is the state of an individual is a name available to be occupied the borrower is slave to the lender it says the rich ruled over the poor the rich unbeliever rules over the poor christian and the borrower is slave to the lender whoever has the economic means will make the policies are we together this is not a blind visionless advocacy of carnality and finances but i can tell you 
if you reject the blessing of the Lord you will spend your life paying the price I have seen what financial um, lack and want can do to an individual a family a ministry it strips you of honor it strips you of dignity it is primarily responsible for the stress that many people go through Jesus said I am come that ye may have life and to have that life more abundantly life in its entirety in the name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus Christ in this conference your heart must be open to receive everything God has for you don't select some based on your mindset and reject any if it comes from God receive it if he sends you favor receive it if he sends you fire receive it if he opens a door walk in it are we together now blessed be the name of the Lord in the name of Jesus Christ thank you for staying to the end of this prayer session I know you have been blessed powerfully please share this message with others say this share this prayer with others and I know that your life will never remain the same thank you so much subscribe to our channel turn on the notification bell so that each time we release any video you will be notified don't forget to like don't forget to share don't forget to subscribe we love you see you in our next video thank you god bless you